looking for cheap, fast, and reliable Madden Ultimate Coins, look no further than my sponsor, Mutt Reserve. Head over to MuttReserve.com. Use code Poodle at checkout for 30% off your order. Take advantage, guys. Do not waste your money on packs. Skip the packs. Head on over. Pick up some coins. Enjoy. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the Sunday LTD for the All Rookie promo as well as the upcoming week of Mutt content. So usually, Sunday is the upcoming week of Mutt content day. But because we do have an All Rookie promo drop, we get to go over that as well now. These cards, like, especially Sunday Surprise LTDs, not, this was not exactly a surprise, but it wasn't exactly expected. Now, this Sunday LTD typically doesn't get pulled for quite a while just because not many people are on a Sunday sitting here opening packs. That's kind of the issue we deal with on Sundays with that. But we will check out the stats. I'll show you the card, of course. Now, Edger and James was the other LTD, which you can see right here. Now, that went away at 10 a.m. Eastern time. So if he's out of packs now, I don't know why it still shows. He should be gone by this point now. The LTD we did get today was Night Train Lane. Now, we'll go over stats in just a second. But before we get into the video, make sure you go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn the noti bell. Give this video a big thumbs up as always. If you haven't already, like I said, commenting and liking always goes a long way. So make sure you do like and comment on each and every video. Let me know down below if you do like the Night Train Lane. And smash the like button. And of course, if you guys do any coins, head over to my reserve down below and use code Poodle. Let's check out newest. Yeah, I, he's not going to be up, guys. I'm telling you. Is the issue. I'm going to show you guys the screenshot of him in just a second. But I also want to go over the upcoming MUP promos. So we're going to go over all that now. We do have a decent week of stuff of what I can suspect coming in the near future. One thing that's actually a little overdue. So I do think we'll be seeing that very, very soon. But let's head on over to the screenshots and show you guys that. Here we have the Night Train Lane 97 overall cornerback for the Los Angeles Rams now. As you guys do know, this is a very, very old looking card. Night Train Lane played quite a while ago. As you can see, he had no face mask. Those are the olden days, but Nitron Lane has had one of the top cards in Madden pretty much every year as long as Madden's been around. Nitron Lane has had a great card. He always gets a great one. Now, in recent years, they have knocked the speed down a little bit, but as you can see, it is returning a little bit here. I would have liked the 96, but the thing, thing with Nitron Lane is that the frame he has is like Richard Sherman-esque, so he gets that physical frame that even for a slight lack of speed, he makes up for it, but he doesn't even have a lack of speed. He's going to be one of the fastest corners. He can get to a 98 overall speed. He can get a 98, a 98 speed, so you really can't knock that, but his stats are 95 speed. 96 excel 95 agility 95 jumping 94 play rack 96 man 92 zone and 94 press so the issue with this card is always be no 99 zone but it is a man meta so i'm not going to complain too much but the beauty here is that this card will get 99 man he will get 99 press he will get 99 play rack he will get 98 speed and i believe he will have a 95 plus hit power because his hit power typically is close to max and his block should be in the 80s at this point um this night train lane is going to be absolutely insane He's going to be able to do just about everything on the field. Kind of similar to what we were talking about Rodney Harrison yesterday. He's going to be able to play the run, play the pass. And Night Train has a decent body in terms of weight and height as well. He's a super physical corner. He's going to be able to body people in man coverage. He's going to get a lot of picks. He's going to be able to outbody and outbox wide receivers that go up against him. He's a great, great cornerback. Now his price, just like Edger and James. Edger and James is already, oh, he's already 300 in the 300K range, which is actually very surprising considering uh, LTD, you know, all rookie LTD. I was not expecting that, but for the most part, Bedroom James is 350. Nitro Lane probably will end up falling. I'd imagine in like the he's starting off probably 700k range, but it'll probably come down to around the 400, 500, 300k range as well. It's just it's kind of just the nature of how these uh, all the cards kind of follow each other in that in that aspect. So expect that uh, this Nitro Lane is looking really good though. Definitely be a good pickup for a lot of teams. Now, like I said, the speed I wish it was a little bit higher, but he's still gonna get to 98 with sprinters, so you don't have to worry too much about the speed. And like I said, the agility, the jumping, the height, the weight, the press, the, the man, the um, hip power, block shot. Like, he's insane everywhere. Well. His catching, his spec catch. He's always he's built like Deion Sanders. He's essentially a slightly slower Deion Sanders. If you gave Deion more physicality, better tackling, better hit power, but took away like one or two speed points, that would be nice train lane. So is it worth it? Probably, especially when you're playing man. Those body animations are the ones that get your cornerbacks killed, like 5'11 corners, who are very, very tiny, very, very weak. They get outbodied and outboxed. He's going to be the one to jump in front of it and kind of like outbody the receiver. But yeah, that's about it. Let's go over to the upcoming mud promos. Starting for the first one. We do have the all-rookie promo. That's already in the game. So in terms of the all-rookie promo, the only thing we're going to be expecting left, I don't think we'll have any more parts to it, just more LTDs, right? So we already had Edger and James. We already had Night Train Lane today. And I do believe we did have another one, although I, I'm blanking right now on who it is. Uh, but could be wrong. I don't know early but anyways so i do expect another ltd at some point probably at least one more i don't think they kill it off today maybe one more on tuesday and they cut it there it really just depends on what promos we get this week as well it could be the last one but 
there's a chance that the all rookie promo does hand us one last LT before we do get on up and out of here out of this promo. This promo wasn't going to be very expansive. Typically, guys, just for you know future reference, promos past the Super Bowl typically aren't expansive promos. They're going to be a nice drop. You're going to have good cards, some good sets, but they're not going to be a super expansive, long winding like Christmas S promo. We're just not going to be getting those anymore. Um, one of the promos I'm about to announce pretty soon will actually be the last one that we'll probably get that's pretty expensive, which I'll go over in just a second. But otherwise, the all rookies, great player so far, has been a great promo. The LTDs like Edger and James and Nitro Lane are both meta, which you love to see, especially when they're LTDs. Moving on to the next one, guys, we do have the Combine promo, which as of last year would have dropped already. So I assume we will be seeing it. Um, we'll be seeing it this week. That's what I have to imagine. Because in real life, everything is going underway pretty soon. Now the combat promo again, got to bring in some of the most athletic players in the league to the, to the Madden screen. That's pretty much what we'll see. Just expect a lot of athleticism because essentially every player you're getting had a good performance at the combine. A good performance at the combine indicates either a good 40, a good three cone, a good passing, um, but typically good bench press, uh, good vertical jump, good broad jump. So what are you going to end up getting? Players with super good speed, super good jumping, uh, super good strength, everything. Super good acceleration, super good... Um, Agility, super good elusiveness, super good, uh, what else do we have? I'm blanking on some of the other stats, but you guys get the point. These cards are going to be super, super, super athletic. They're going to be super great. These cards overall are going to just be all around studs. Uh, again, they're going to limit some of them because they can't give us a whole meta program. So like, like, like let's say Mark Cooper and Alvin Kamara, they knocked them down a bit. They gave them good agility, good jumping, but knocked the speed down. And Mark Cooper got really good agility and everything else. But again, this card was limited in terms of his speed a little bit. That's kind of what they do now. The, the Masters, though, the Masters are typically insane. Like Deion Sanders, 98 speed, 99 powered up. That's just self-explanatory. Jalen Ramsey, uh, jumping 96, broad jumping, everything else. And then you also got the good stats. So not, the Masters will have no problem being boosted up and being what they're supposed to be. It's the lower overall cards that as you get lower and overall like down to here, you might end up noticing the differences. But you will get some of the best budget players, which is what I'm trying to stress. The combat promo typically gives some of the best budget players in the game. Because think about it. You get a you know 90 overall that had a really good 40 yard dash, like Montez Sweat, who set the record for for outside linebackers or edges and D linemen. You got a 92 speed at 93 overall. You go even more down. Quinton Williams, who had a great 40 yard dash and 78 speed at a defensive tackle, 86 excel, not horrible. Mar Marquez Valdez Scanlon gets a 93 because he had a good 40 yard dash. Curtis Samuel, 94 speed. Hassan Reddick, 88 speed. They're all gonna be good budget cards, for the most part. But that's enough of that, guys. Let's get to the next part, which is going to be... Last year, they had a Combine um, combine Conqueror. Now, I don't know if they'll do that again, but it was pretty cool. So you got an 86 overall DK Metcalf, and you're able to play solos and do uh, like missions and stuff to get him tokens that you put into them, Combine Conqueror tokens. And you were able to get, turn him into a 95 overall at the end of it and make a really good DK Metcalf. Now, I don't know if you could see it here, but his upgrades were like... Um, yes, you can. Okay, so tier three. You're able to get up to a 95 overall, which had a 96 speed, which is pretty good last year. You can get that up to a 98 with Sprinter. You know, he gets some route running, you know, some decent route running, nothing crazy, but he gets a good catching. This card wasn't great overall because of the route running, but again, this year they wouldn't do that. It's a route running heavy game, but it won't even be a wide receiver again. It'll probably be a cornerback or like a tight end or something. But a combine, combine conquer, I probably, I do expect this is something similar to that again, just because it went well last year. They like to do stuff like that. I could see it again. And then finally, Team Diamonds. Trello did hit, uh, I think it was Team Diamonds or Team Standouts. I forgot what it was. Team Standouts are over, so I'm assuming it was Team Diamonds. He did mention that we will be seeing something, you know, he hopes soon. So I think we'll be getting them pretty soon now. I just hope they're not 95 overalls. I hope they make the Team Diamonds 96s and the Master 98, just like last year. And these are 95s. I want 96s so they could be powered up to 97. But last year we had Nitro in lane 98 overall. So we do have a good chance of potentially seeing a very high rated Team Diamond Master. I don't know who it would be. Maybe Tim Tebow. I don't know. It would be really cool if it was, but I doubt it. For the most part, guys, these Team Diamonds are going to be a lot of legends uh, for the most part. Some... And by legends, I mean also current play like Brian Cushing and Quan Bolden, guys who recently, like we from our lifetime have just seen, but they're gone already. But, um, you know, fan favorites. You guys know the deal with how uh, theme diamonds do end up actually working. But theme diamonds are going to pretty much, again, another big theme team boost. You're going to get one good player per team combined with some potentially lower overall players as we go on down, you know, like over here, which now these were the lower ones from early in the year. So remember, these aren't going to be dropped at the same time. These we already had these. So you're going to be getting this whole culmination of theme diamonds for the year. Gives you a bunch of good players overall for a theme team. But the final drop is around the 95 range. And then we have the one master. Now, in terms of the mask, like I said, it would be almost impossible to predict. Like I'm telling you, it's it's a master. You never really know. It could be anyone, especially when they're fan favorites. It could be any player that's ever played for any team. 
and people like which could be literally anyone so i don't exactly know who it's going to end up being but that pretty much does wrap up today's video that does cover i'm expecting all rookie ltds and then of course i'm expecting maybe a, i think all rookies done but i'm expecting nfl combine comes this week a combine conquer and theme diamonds now of course the, the most exciting thing there gonna be the combine promo followed by probably theme diamonds for the most part and then last would be another all rookie ltd they've been great ltds but it's just an ltd right it's not gonna be anything insane but that's about it for the video hopefully you guys did enjoy if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button turn the notification bell give this video a big thumbs up and comment as always those two things help the channel out tremendously comment down below let me know what you guys think is coming this week who would be the theme diamond master in your opinion or the your who would be the theme diamond from your favorite team let me know down below smash the like button and of course if you need coins head up to my reserve and use code poodle the link will be down below in the description thank you for watching i'm out peace